state of the game on the court is as good as it's ever been. Uh, certainly, you know, uh, the scandal, if you will, that's rocked the college basketball world uh, puts a major stain in our game. And it's something that, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise some of us in the business because we know some of these kinds of things have been going on and they've been going on for a long time. And, uh, you know, what's hard about that is it, it certainly makes it extremely difficult for those of us that are trying to do things the right way uh, to be as successful. There's no question that there's been some kids we recruited that we know some things have happened and it's been a reason why we haven't gotten into Clemson. And, uh, you know, you can you know, work really hard and, and not bear the fruit of your work. And that's, that's frustrating when you lose in a way that, that isn't ethical. Uh, having said that, you never want to compromise the principles of your program, what you're trying to do. And I would also say that what's, what's frustrating about the scandal and what's going on in college basketball is that there's a lot of really good things going on in college basketball as well. And, uh, you know, increased graduate, graduation rates, guys graduating about 80% clip. Uh, you know, at Clemson, I think we've had every guy but one graduate. So, um, you know, the life experiences that you're, you're giving young people, uh, the life lessons that you're teaching them, preparing them for life after basketball and the opportunities that you're giving them with basketball, maybe overseas, that, that changes their lives. And uh, so there's a lot of really good things happening that, that don't get reported. Uh, and so sometimes these are the only kinds of things that really everybody wants to talk about when there's a lot of really good things happening. So uh, those are things that can both be frustrating in different ways. Do you worry at all about, you know, people, the casual fan, people walking down the street, they see you say, uh, he coaches college basketball. He's obviously, you know, he's obviously. No, I don't think so of. because, you know, I, to be frank, I think there's a lot of people in this business that who followed my career yeah. understand how we do things. Yeah. And, uh, the people that really know, know when there are some things going on that, that shouldn't be going on. And, uh, you know, you just hope as a college basketball, uh, college basketball coach that that's appreciated. You know, the one good thing that could come out of this for some of us is that there's a greater appreciation by your fan base, there's a greater appreciation by your administration, and by the families of the players that you coach and the players you coach that we're working for guys and working with guys and all, the coaches that represent our program really do things the right way. And, uh, you know, so there's always two ways of looking at things. Um, and so certainly I think that there are a bunch of us in the profession that, that really do things in a, a really positive way, and you're hopeful that that's, that's uh, recognized. Along the same lines, are you hopeful that, that this can kind of clean up the game and that this can end up being a good thing? Yeah, there's no question that, you know, there's been a lot of talk about what to do with the college basketball model, and it's it's a difficult one. Um, there's no easy answer. You know, the one and done rule has created a lot of issues um, within our game. Obviously, one or two players can really change the course of a program uh, if you get the right kind of kids and the right kind of players. And so the pressure that, that comes with recruiting that and the pressure that comes uh, with the salaries that people now make in, in sports, college athletics, uh, you know, certainly forces guys to, to, to challenge your, uh, your code of ethics. And, uh, you know, I guess it's just that part of it is never going to go away. I don't know what's going to be the easy way. I do think the one and done rule will change. It's not going to stop those people that want to cut corners. Um, but at the same time, I, I do think this is going to this is going to lead to significant change in our game. And uh, how much shoe companies are still involved, you know, there's there are a lot of a sometimes there are AU people that get a bad rap for a lot of the positive things. There's a there even the shoe companies are doing a lot of really good things for a lot of kids and uh, providing unbelievable opportunities, helping those kids get seen, helping guys get scholarships that maybe wouldn't get those kinds of opportunities. Uh, so there's no easy fix. Uh, it's something certainly the NABC will look at, and, uh, and, and uh, you know I think it's something that, that the NCA is obviously going to get involved in. Coach, on a lighter note.